we love them. We love our teachers and what they do. And we're very happy at the fact that they stood in the gap between evil to protect their children. And we want to include them in the, save, the lives that were saved as well yesterday. We're heartbroken. A young person brought a gun into a school, committed an evil act, and he took lives and he injured many other people, not only physically, but mentally. But I'm proud of Barrett County. I'm proud of our superintendent. I'm proud of these teachers. I'm proud of these schools. And I'm proud of where I live. And we'll get past this. The FBI had gotten a tip that someone planned to shoot up a middle school the next day. The info came from a user on a Discord chat. Discord is an online platform mainly used by video gamers to live stream. Investigators were able to connect the account to an email address linked to Colt. I responded to this address and spoke with Colin Gray and his 13-year-old son, Colt. Colin stated that he does not know what Discord is, stating that he works full-time and does not play video games. Colin allowed me to speak with Colt. Colt stated he used to have a Discord account, but deleted it prior to moving from their previous address. Colt expressed concern that someone is accusing him of threatening to shoot up a school, stating that he would never say such a thing, even in a joking manner. Colin informed me that he does have firearms in the house, but that they are hunting rifles. He stated Colt is allowed to use them when supervised, but he does not have unfettered access to them. What's going on, you guys? This one is definitely a tough read, tough story, man, about the school shooting. Most of you already know about it, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Just want to talk about the self-defense aspect. So you saw the first portion of it where uh, they was talking about they had they had just implemented a new technology technology where the teachers had a badge and if something goes down you press a button on the badge it can send the school into lockdown but it also alerts the police so only only i mean four is too many but only four people died it could have been in the tens the twenties the thirties we don't know now the second portion is talk about talking about how the fbi was already notified and they actually identified the person went to his house they didn't have enough evidence but it's crazy because they asked the dad they was like hey do you have guns? He was like, oh, yes, we have guns, but he doesn't have access. Then he turns around and gets him like a freaking AK for Christmas. That's that's crazy work right there. And as far as, um, you know, the FBI tracking everything down, I know it's hard to track stuff down. I know it's hard to prove. I know we have rights and stuff, man. But after this, man, there has to be another way. I mean, here's the thing. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I can only make suggestions. I can only ramble on here on TikTok, Instagram or whatever. But if somebody starts talking about a school shooting, man, everybody in that discord should be should get a little visit that way the next time they know if somebody is talking that crazy talk you have to re immediately report that talk immediately click that button report it screenshot it send it in so they can hone in on the person who's talking that talk because you don't know who's talking that talk but um they know actually this shit they did know and they went there and they actually had the person and they questioned him and he slipped through the cracks. So uh, this is a tough one, man. Um, and as far as like self-defense tips, man, I mean, somebody has an AK and you're, you're weaponless. You're, you're at a disadvantage. You have to rely on the community. You have to rely on the systems that they have in place, which they did to minimize the damage. Now, how do we eliminate it? We take the next step. I'm not talking about taking away guns. I'm just talking about, um, you know, we follow those leads and, and we follow those leads rigorously. That's all I got for this one, man. Uh, comment in the section below if there's any information that I didn't talk about. I know I hopped on here real quick. Don't want to spend too much time on it, but I, I would like your feedback.